in the recommendation space, there are a couple of different approaches. And uh, there are a few really well-known consumer applications out there that illustrate those approaches. Um, the iTunes Genius approach, for example, is uh, primarily collaborative filtering. So it's similar to what Amazon does, from what I understand. Um, and, and Apple pretty much built this internally, um, where they're looking at what other people are doing uh, and what they're listening to and trying to match up tastes based on I think almost exclusively transactions um, on the iTunes Music Store. Um, and that collaborative filtering system works good, but there are a couple of pretty well-known documented problems around it. And so if you're a big avant-garde jazz fan or experimental electronic fan, you can see this uh, at play in a service like uh, what, what Apple's doing. Um, because they collaborative filtering systems look at what people are doing, so people who bought this also bought that, and that will match it up. There are two well-known problems. The first is the popularity effect. So inherently, it's the way it works. More popular stuff gets recommended more often because there are just more transactions. So all the recommendations kind of keep getting pushed up to the Billboard 100 type artists. Um, and if you are a, a, a fan of, kind of non-mainstream music or you want to dig deeper and deeper, those systems are kind of constantly pushing you um, in a direction where you're trying to get deeper deeper down. That's the popularity effect and uh, Patty Maas actually who um, was the kind of original developer of collaborative filtering also from the MIT Media Lab um, uh, is close with Brian Whitman and interest on our, our co-founders and uh, working and trying to address that problem. The other problem is um, uh, the, uh, the cold start problem which is until you have a lot of transactional data uh, an artist is kind of invisible. So an artist that could be killing it on MySpace and really filling up shows but just released it out, a, a record to iTunes um, and doesn't have a lot of sales data, um, they're not going to be able to recommend that artist because again that's the, their kind of universe of, of data, that artist is still off the, off the chart. So um, if you're looking to discover, um, you know, Bubble, artists that are bubbling up, um, independent artists, um, those collaborative filtering systems have some limitations in helping you discover them too. Um, that's one of the core reasons why Brian and Tristan started this company. They're both musicians and that popularity effect and, uh, was one of the things that motivated them to go at the uh, recommendation problem, to help both music fans and independent artists um, connect. Um, and that, that, that system has some limitations. Um, another pretty well known and, and great service is Pandora's um, recommendation platform. So Pandora is a, a great internet radio station where you can type in an artist's name and it will create a channel. Um, they do a lot of work in understanding your preferences so you can tell them, well I didn't like that song or I like that song and they'll, they'll use that. But the core, the guts of the system is the Music Genome Project which is uh, actually musicians writing about music. So they get a bunch of guys in Oakland or musicians and they listen to every track that you hear on Pandora and type in um, musical attributes. Um, over the last eight years, I think they've got about a million and a half tracks over that eight year period. Um, our approach, because it's fully automated, we do similar feature extraction, um, but we're able to do that in five seconds a track. So uh, we built a personalized radio player for IMEAM, for example, and that's seven million tracks. We were able to build that in, in a couple of days, um, and I think you contrast, contrast that to a manual approach, you can see where, for say a social network or places with millions and millions of new songs coming online, um, that you're just not going to be able to keep up if you need individuals to listen to and break each one of those tunes down.